Okay, so for this question, we want to know the cosine inverse of negative 1, and we also want to know sine inverse of 1 half. And to do so, we will do this. Cosine x would equal negative half. And so what value of x between 0 and pi would equal negative 1? And if we think about it, the answer would be pi. So this is our answer for the first question. The second question, we do almost the exact same thing. We do uh, sine x would equal 1 half. So what value of x between negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 would equal 1 half? And that is simply uh, pi over 6. And this is all what we need to do to solve inverse trig function questions by hand.